hey guys welcome back to my channel so if this is your first time here on my channel go ahead and subscribe to my channel and when you do subscribe that just encourages me to do more videos um you know yeah it just encourages me to do more videos and share more ideas share my life with you all um but yeah guys so um lately i've been kind of stressed like stressed not like really but i've been kind of stressed and worried if i may put it that way i've been like more worried um you know since i had mali um i don't think i talked about it here on my channel but since i had mali when i had mali mali was like a few months um old and i had covid and mind you guys i was breastfeeding okay i was breastfeeding my baby and when i had her a few months into breastfeeding her i had covid so when i had covid i had to quarantine and that was like at the time when covid was really bad i had covid and i had to quarantine i quarantined down in my basement and that was like the most dreaded moment ever in my life i felt so bad i cried like so much because i was in my basement i couldn't come upstairs they had to give me everything downstairs i was a new mother my baby wasn't even up to four months old it was so heartbroken it was so painful and i could hear my kids you know talking they would cry and i could not come to their rescue so it was like really 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 terrible experience for me fast forward after having covid and going through all of that my baby stopped breastfeeding my breast like she refused my breast like completely even when i pumped it she refused like she refused and when i did see my doctor i talked to my doctor about it and she was like you know maybe it could be the side effect of you having covid and i felt bad like i had like all my babies are breastfed babies except Mali who breastfed only for a few months and I had to stop because I had COVID. Okay guys, fast forward, COVID came, baby refused breast and I breast and you know I bottle fed her. Now she's eating regular food, now she's one year plus and I felt a lump in my breast. Like I, I have been feeling a lump on my right side of the breast and it has given me a lot of thought it has given me a lot of anxiety it has given me so much stress so much to think about so initially i didn't feel the long or anything i was just going my normal day and each time i go to work or anywhere and i take off my bra i would always feel like my left side of the breast was like really moist and very itchy and the left side there was like nothing wrong with the left side so i'm just like you know at that point i didn't take it like you know seriously i didn't think anything would be wrong okay and um you know i kept doing my thing days went by and all of a sudden i started having like the itchiness increased it increased so much that I scratched like underneath my breast so much and around the nipple so much that it kind of is peeling off okay it's peeling off and it's so dry um so that is when I was like oh, oh, oh like what is going on like there is definitely something that is not going right on this side of the breast like what is going on yeah so I started applying some hydrocortisone because it was itching i just wanted to stop the itchiness so i started applying um, hydrocortisone it wasn't stopping at all it kept increasing the itchiness kept going on and then i started you then and then i started using some my starting powder um so i decided to start applying like pow like my statin which is a powder like it's, a, it's an antibiotic powder so i started like putting it there so it could absorb any moisture that i was you know getting from that breast my starting kind of helped like one and two days the following day my starting would not do anything it didn't even feel like i put anything there 
So that is when my fear rose from like 50 to like 100. I'm like, there is something definitely wrong with this side of boobs, okay? So I, one day I just went in the shower and I put a very hot shower. I got in there and I took my time, guys. I took like 10 minutes and I massaged the breast like very well. I went like on a circular motion all around and I still felt a lot. And I did the same on the left side. I didn't feel anything. So at this point, I'm like, I am freaking out. And I called my husband. I'm like, guess what? Like, it's like I have cancer. You know, that was my first thought. It's like, I'm having a breast cancer or something. And guys, a couple of years back, I used to have like a little lump that was growing on my breast. It was more like, it was like, a, it was like a superficial lump. And... I was young at that time. I didn't know anything about lung. I didn't know anything about breast cancer. I didn't know anything about, you know, things like that. So I never, like, I never did anything. I just kept feeling it. I just kept, uh, you know, uh, touching the lungs. It was there. It went on for years. And one day, all of a sudden, it just disappeared. Like, it disappeared completely. So I, I mean, I'm thinking that was a cyst. Yeah, because it did not hurt, it did not move around, it wasn't, there was like, the surrounding was like, there was nothing unusual. The only different thing was that it was, that I had a lump there, which was a cyst that disappeared later on without any intervention, without me mentioning it to anybody, like any doctor and so forth. But yeah, that's then. All right, guys. So when I did, when I took shower and I really felt this lump, I'm like, okay, this is just a confirmation that... There is a lump on my breast. So I started freaking out, okay? And I I refused, like I completely refused to Google because I didn't want my anxiety level to go up. I'm like, I'm not going to Google about it. I am just going to set an appointment and see my doctor to see what they say. Okay, guys. Um but yeah, so when I went to work, actually, because I've been, I've, I was curious, okay, I'm like, I'm so curious, but I want my information to come from like a very reliable source. I don't want to Google anything. Oh, I didn't, I didn't want to like think too much negativity. So I went to work and of course I work with so many doctors. We all sit beside each others and I asked two doctors actually, two doctors that I'm kind of really close to. And I talked to them, I'm like, you know, we're just discussing and I'm like, can I ask you something? I said, this is what I'm experiencing. What do you think? Okay. I asked two doctors that same question and they all gave me a similar answer. And they were like, you know, it could, it could just be a growth. It could be nothing else, but it could still be a cancerous cell or something like that, you know, um, but because we're at work and because they cannot, you know, diagnose me and stuff like that, all their recommendation was like, make an appointment to see your PCD, okay? And uh, so I went to make an appointment with my PCP and also my OBGYN, okay? I want to make appointment with those two doctors. I want to see what they think initially. So, um, I'm going to go to my PCP doctor. I'm like, hey, doc, this is what is happening. What do you think? Like, examine me, and then they give, you know, their own feedback. And I want to go to my OBG as well without telling her anything that I saw a PCP to see what her initial assessment would be as well. Okay, guys. But yeah, guys, so I've made the appointment. And it was so difficult to get like a quicker appointment. So I just got whatever they have. And I'm going to go follow up and see what it is. Guys, I'm just praying and hoping that it is not what I'm thinking. Okay. That it is not what I am thinking. Um, and at the same time, guys, it is very important to be self-aware. Okay. Let's be aware of ourselves, aware of any abnormalities that we feel or any abnormalities that are, that occurs among us, okay? Take health very seriously. 
like very very seriously and i feel like i inherited that from my husband my husband takes his health very seriously he does not play with his health he's that kind of a person that even if he has headache he will go and see a doctor that is how serious about health wise my husband is okay so i think i inherited that from him i am very particular about my health guys because health is money health is everything we are not healthy like what is it you know so but yeah guys so i made the appointment to see my doctor and i'm going to update you guys anything whether it is negative or positive i am going to let you guys know about it okay but for now i am just hoping and praying and what i do is um, every day i try to still make sure that i feel something and at the same time the itchiness is still there it itches so bad like if i go out in the public it itches sometimes so bad that i just cannot do without you know without scratching it and i have been applying like some itchy cream there some powder like whatever just seems to help me so i've been doing that but yeah guys so uh, i was just kind of narrating from when i had covid and my baby refused my breast up until now like could she have sent something to my breast you know that is like what i am kind of thinking about like what did she send in my breast that made her refuse it was it the covid or did she like you know like a lot is just going up my head but yeah guys so i'm going to follow up with my pcp and my obgyn and again any result that i have negative positive i will share it with you guys and yeah guys so as women let's just be very 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 self-conscious about ourselves about, about about ourselves about changes that do occur in ourselves okay guys until then guys i will see you guys in my next video bye